say what's up. What's up with you? You feeling good? Ha, I feel it too. We gonna mess now. Say what the show. I step on one, you step on four. Four. See what I did there? I step on one, you step on four. Episode 14. I know y'all got that because y'all smart like that. Welcome to the show, man. Another episode of The Corner right here on YouTube with your favorite big boy, Big Bucks. Man, you see this week, I'm looking all clean cut and fresh. No gorilla vibes. I even have my little Mandela line going on. Long walk to freshness. You gotta stay fresh out in these streets. Nami. Today's show is gonna be absolutely dope, man. Just how we do it on the corner, maintaining the standard. Dope by default. You know what I mean? The music is gonna be exclusively South African because South Africa has just been dropping some serious flames over the past few months. And Saka Nagyoho Beseleta, hey, like he did and bring all of those flames to you so you can catch the flame of all the good music right here on the corner. So without any further ado, let's get it lit, fam. Light another year, light another year, light another year. Beep, 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 beep. All right, now first to light up the show is one of South Africa's dopest MCs and a legend in his own right, man. Every time this dude drops a verse on one of his songs, I'm always in awe of the command of the Zulu language that this guy has, man. Of course, I'm talking about none other than KZN's finest, Zagwe, with the remix to one of 2017's biggest hits, 17. Now on this remix of 17, Zakwe went ahead and featured the creme de la creme of SA Vernac Spitters, man. I'm talking about Dingakar. Diamonds by Lehor Haisa Lelebone, Babriki Lemoko di Mkhazog and Binge. I'm talking about Musicholic, Mufasa himself, Casper on your vest, Cuesta, Blacklist, the legendary Lenora, Double HP, and of course, the master of the Zulu raps himself, Pro. Now, this is one of those joints that demand you to bring your A game on raps because everyone that is on this joint is a serious heavyweight. And I must say, Majita Hela Bote, they all brought the flames. It was so dope to hear the legendary pro on this joint, man. It's been a while since we've heard from him. And he just came out and dropped a seriously lit verse on this joint, completely tearing that beat apart, showing us that his pen game is still as sharp as ever. So shout out to Zagwe for bringing him out from wherever it was that he was hiding to come and bless us with those Zulu raps that we miss so damn much. We missed you, bro. We missed you. And your pen game is still sharp, man. Still sharp. 17 was one of the biggest hits of 2017. And this remix right here just reignited the flames that we got from that joint, man. I seriously hope they drop a video for this sometime soon because that right there would be the cherry on top. And talking about videos, they must use Kyle Lewis again for the remix video because what he did for the original video was just absolute fire. But that's what Kyle does by default. That is Zakwe with the remix to 17 featuring all those nice lyricists. All right, now passing on the torch to the second segment is a brand new surprise single that was dropped by one of the members of the legendary Last Days fam, Bonafide, and that one is called Slay Queen. Slabaizim was all over the Instagram. Yes, Queen, yes, yes, yes. Last Days Fam is one of those crews that made a name for themselves by staying true to the roots of hip hop, ensuring that their songs are not only well produced, but the message behind them also carries a lot of weight. This new single from Bonafide does exactly that. I love the angle that he took on Slay Queen, saying that, you know, it's okay to slay. Just make sure you don't get caught up in the whirlwind of it so much that you end up doing unnecessary things that end up compromising your values and integrity just for social relevance. I love that slow and mellow flavor that that he gave to the song because it forces you to listen to what he has to say while enjoying the groove of the joint. 
I'm just glad that in this day and age of the skirt skirt, <laughs> there's still artists out there who still believe in hip hop being a strong vehicle for social commentary and not just the kind of music that people make for appearances. So dope work right there from Bonafide from The Last Days Fam with his brand new single called Slay Queens. Absolutely loving it, man. It's okay to slay, but hard work ultimately is what's gonna make you. Not the likes, fam. Not the likes. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm wrong, I'm like. All right, now, burning the last flame of the show is one of my favorite vocalists in the country and also another name that you should make sure you keep in your memory because she is well on her way to making some seriously great moves in the music industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Her Majesty, the Queen, Bonj Mbanza, with a brand new single called Till the Tide. Baby girl, ah, you brought the tide on this one. You seriously brought the high tide. Raswima, Gwena. Raswima, Raswima. Now, if you don't know the name Bonge, allow me to school you a little bit. Bonge is the lead vocalist from, in my opinion, one of the best bands to ever come out of Cape Town, the city. I came across their music around 2013 or so, performing live as the opening act for the legendary Pharaoh March. In 2015, they released a super self-titled EP with one of my favorite songs, Something Sweet, which, uh, you know, I did a live performance feature on at some point, you know, I'm not trying to blow my own horn, but... Now, Bunge, as a solo vocalist, also did some amazing work with some of Cape Town's best musical exports, like Cards on Spokes, Maramza, and my girl, Jackie Queen. She recently made a move to Johannesburg with her band and has been growing from strength to strength in the music industry, making some seriously dope moves. One of those was performing live at the Red Bull Music Festival. Till the Tide is her first debut single from her upcoming album and it is all kinds of amazing. I'm loving that whole electronic future soul R&B vibe that she got going on on the song. I don't even know what to call it genre-wise, but it's one of those songs that I imagine myself playing in a road trip to some exotic island somewhere. It's just got that groove. Till the Tide is a fantastic single, and I feel that it's one of those songs that can launch her career into new heights, and by the looks of things, it's to infinity and beyond. That's my girl Bonj Bongi Wimbanza with a brand new single, Till the Tide. From here on out, girl, it can only be good things. It can only be good things. World, pay attention, because once the queen has spoken, the whole world will listen. All right, and that is it. Kipeto, kitu, we've come to the end of the show. Are amohele mohao bazalwane. Ameni, ameni. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning into the show, man. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna drop a link below to all the content I've spoken about, so you can catch it and bump it at your own time. Otherwise, if you love the video, hit it with a little thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down is also cool. I really don't mind. And if you wanna say something to me, there's a comment section to your disposal that you can use, and I promise you, I will gladly get back to you. Otherwise, it's been real. It's been great. It's been absolutely fantastic. So I will see you on the next one. Peace and much love.